pimps! It's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Mario Party 8. Today we are stepping into the extra zone where you can play extra games that you won't find anywhere else. One to four players. So let's go! This is the next addition to the extras within this game and perhaps the cutest tent in my opinion. Okay, what are we doing? We are only ourselves, so that's all we're playing. You can play as a me or a Mario Party character. Which will you choose? Now, I could be boring and use an MPA character, except Wario's not boring. Wario's awesome, but we've seen a lot of him, so I'm gonna use my me. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, Lady Gigi! I forgot she was on here! Okay, well, we're gonna play as Lady GG, because that's the best thing to play as. Okay, Lady Gaga for the win! Happy Black Friday, everyone. I hope you've had an extreme night of shopping, an extreme day of eating, or an extreme night of sleeping. It's pretty awesome, no matter what you did. And, you know, festivities continue all throughout the day, so that could be interpreted in too many different things. I don't know. Everybody does things in a different order on Black Friday. But before I talk about that even more, let me get to the mini games. So we have Star Carnival Bowling, Trial by Tile, Flagging Rights, Canyon Cruisers, Moped Mayhem, Chomping Frenzy, Puzzle Pillars, and Table Menace. So a lot of these are kind of like the Wii Play and Wii Sports games. I don't think they're done as well, but you know, you'll find out. Here we go. Let's go for Star Carnival Bowling. Everyone should... It doesn't matter because I'm the only one playing. Yes, me. Alright, let's do five frames. Start! Okay, so this is like Wii Bowling. So if for some reason you got gypped and your Wii didn't come with Wii Sports, which it should have because that is one of the best games in the entire world. Maybe not, but it was at the time. And I was obsessed with freaking Wii Baseball for like a million years straight. Anyway, if it didn't come with that, this is the next best thing. I don't know. I just made that up, but it could be. Okay, so we have to swing this thing and press A. That's pretty much exactly like Wii Bowling. Which I am the master of, by the way. And Lady Gaga... Well, maybe she would wear that outfit, I don't know. <laughs> yeah! Uh, what?! One?! No way! Wait. Anyway, yeah. I've gotten a perfect score on Wii Bowling, if that tells you anything. Nuh-uh! I went the other way! Come on! Okay. So yes, Lady Gaga would totally wear that outfit and go bowling with us. And uh, are you serious? Come on. This is so retarded right now. Ah! Uh, what? I didn't do that! Apparently the mechanics of this game are not as reliable as the ones in Wii Sports. Honestly, I don't really know why this is on here. I think I said once before that my belief is that this is like the experimental part of Mario Party 8. Because they were like, hey, let's add in the me characters and see how that would be, what that would be like. You know, let's see if that would be something that would appeal to people or not. And, you know, I think on some level it went highly unnoticed. On another level, I think it could be arguably one of the influence of Wii Party. So, you know, there's a lot to be said for that. Oh, you know what? Wii Bowling really does hurt your arm. Yes! Fair. Oh man, no commentary? Oh well. No narration! Okay. Oh yeah, strike. Party. Did you see that? It was legit. Oh, crap. I thought this was- okay, maybe I'm not thinking- okay. Apparently I'm not bowling straight either. I'm not thinking or bowling straight. 
But maybe you pimps aren't thinking straight either because you've been up since... Ha! <laughs> you've been up since yesterday because you went shopping and didn't get any sleep. You know, back in the old days when I went Black Friday shopping, I went to bed for like three or four hours and then me and my best friend would go out. Yeah, you work it, lady. Anyway, um, me and my best friend would go out at like 4.30? I don't know. We'd get up at like 4.30. And no, we're not going to play this again. We're going to try something different. We'd get up at like 4.30, go out at 5. And I mean, it was a blast. It was before the crazy, like, let's kill each other over TVs phase. I mean, yeah, there was still some of that going on, but it wasn't as bad as it is now. And we also made a vow back in the day to never, ever, ever go to Walmart on Black Friday, and I never have, so... Walmart's where you get the killers, I swear. It's crazy in there. You'll get maced, shot, trampled. That's just a, a horrible way to suffer. Don't, don't put yourself at risk with Walmart. Alright, scan the panels to find a matching arrangement. Find as many matches as you can. So, this is kind of like a puzzle game. Don't really know what to compare this to off the top of my head. Although I did just buy this DSiWare. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I'm supposed to put What? I'm supposed to find the one pictured. Okay. So this is just testing my skill at how fast I am at doing fun things. But anyway, yeah, I just bought this DSiWare for my 3DS that is Cat Frenzy, I think it's called? I don't know. It's like Cat Frenzy Fo... Fo... Fobo or... I don't know. Maybe I just made that up. But it's got like Cat Frenzy something that starts with an F. Um, and... Uh, ew! Two peaches and a Wario Gross! Anyway, it has like the best sound effects I've ever heard in my life. It's basically a puzzle game with cats where you like slide them back and forth on the screen like all these different colored cat heads and you have to match up the right colors and the right kitties and every single cat makes like a different meowing sound depending on what color it is. Oh my god if you're a cat lover you gotta try this game. It's like two dollars in the eShop so... Oh wait, what? Oh, I don't know what I was just looking for. Wait, no, that was it. Where's Waluigi's face? There we go. Um, but yeah, it's like $2 in the eShop, literally, and it's just, it's hilarious. If you're a cat lover like me, you'll love it. Oh, what? Oh my god, Waluigi's face is confusing me. There we go. I don't know why it took me so long to find that. Wait, how many times do I have to do this? Ah! Okay. Oh, until that? What? Uh, why do I have a feeling I've never played that before? Did I just not show this off last time like a doof? I don't know. Lady Gaga was pretty excited about it, though. She started to do the bad romance dance. By the way, they took that video off YouTube, and I'm really sad now because I loved that video. I no. What is with the, like, depressing fade-out if you push no? You remember that fade from Super Mario Kart where if it was, like, exit and you're like, yes? It would, like, fade to black and have this, like, depressing beep sound that was like, Duh. It was like, wow, I really shouldn't have done that. Oh, man, the nunchuck. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Where's my nunchuck? Okay, sorry, I had to walk across the room to get Big Nunny. Oh crap, now my cord's twisted. Okay, here we go. Alright, so, if you haven't guessed by the picture, you know what this is based off of, and I am so freaking excited that they included this. It's just amazing that this is part of this. I love it. This is... More or less, the upgraded Shy Guy Says. Except it's got not nearly as cool of a name, it's called Flagging Rights, and... It's pretty much the same thing, only one player. You've gotta watch Shy Guy, follow his lead... Yeah. Mimic Shy Guy Captain, I'm sorry. 
Oh my god, for those of you who have played Paper Mario Sticker Star, which just came out like two weeks ago, if e not even two weeks ago by the time you guys are seeing this, but um, yeah, for those of you who have seen that, <laughs> um, that game has the cutest Shy Guys I've ever seen in my life in it. Like, seriously, in World 2, there's these little sombrero guitar playing Shy Guys that are absolutely adorable. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want to give you a big hug because you are so freaking cute. But that's my favorite character in the game so far. I'm not even kidding. The Salsa Shy Guys, that's what I'm calling them because... Oh my gosh, they're little sombreros, and then sometimes they drop them and you can use them in battle. What are you teasing me for? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, you tricked me! No, now I have to walk the plank? Hey, I didn't even get to walk the plank. You just dropped me off the plank. That's not fun. That's stupid. The fact that walking the plank exists as a hick? Hick? No. As a historical event, it's really bizarre to me. I guess it's bizarre to me because it's like, you know, th like, I, I don't understand. Like, why wouldn't you just, like, throw somebody off the boat? Why is it like, well, just slowly walk down this plank while I poke things at you, and then, you know, you'll eventually fall off and scream. That sounds like a fun time. Like, yeah, I get it. It was, like, punishment, torture, whatever, but... It's so weird at the same time. Anyway, I know I played this in the original project. This is Canyon Cruisers. Get into your cruiser and head for the goal. Try to get the best time on the track. If I recall, I... I don't think I'm very good at this because the mechanics are kind of tricky. I don't know, we'll try it. Maybe Lady Gaga's better at it than I think she is. So... Oh, shoot! I'm already bad at it. Okay. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, this reminds me of a racing game I played on Sega, like, a zillion years ago. Sega had, like, the most... How do I want to say this? The most spastic racing games? Like, where you hardcore felt like you were in the game because they were, like, insane, but yet they were kind of impossible at the same time. Oh my god, these graphics are amazing. Amazing! Amazing! I really wish that was on 3DS right now. You know when you see a movie and you're like, Oh my god, that part would look so cool in 3D. Maybe not, but that's what I do. That I also do. Oh my god, that part would make me throw up in 3D. So... Oh my god, these graphics are so good! I love it. I just love graphics, you guys. It sounds really dirty, but it's true. Oh no. I got stuck behind a log. That's gross. No. Okay. Ah! Ah! Okay. You know what? This is really amusing. Maybe I'm not... It's not that I... I don't think I'm bad at this. I feel like I just don't know the track. If you played this over and over again and you knew the track inside and out, this would be a totally different story. Why am I holding this nunchuck still? Get off. Okay. I'm throwing my nunchuck. Hi, Lady Gaga! What's up? Oh. No. We're not gonna play again with the same settings. Sorry! Okay. Let's just go ahead and keep going. I would separate this into two videos, but... Oh my gosh, we can go against ourselves. Ah! I don't know that I want to do very hard, but that's okay. Well, maybe I want to do very hard. I don't know. Haha. <laughs> you guys know what I'm secretly saying. Anyway, rules. Play table tennis with your opponent. The first to reach 11 points is... The Why 11? Is that like a ping pong thing? I don't know. Table tennis, let's go. Yeah, I would normally separate this into two videos, but I... I really don't want to because I feel like I'm on a roll and I'd rather keep it together so you guys aren't like, Oh good, I've seen half of it and I don't really want to take the time to watch the other half, you know? Oh shoot. Ah! Wait, how come I didn't... How do I move? 
I'm not moving anywhere. Oh, there. I move automatically. Oh. Wario. Sir. Ah. Hey. One of my cousins one time participated in a ping pong tournament on the beach once. Or it wasn't on the beach, but it was at a beach resort. I was on vacation with my extended family. And I think he ended up placing like second or third. Like, I had no idea I was that good at ping pong. And it seems like a really weird thing to be good at. But it's true. It really did happen. It's a long time ago though. I'm surprised they even remember that. But I remember when I was little, like, going to, like, beach resorts and they would always have the ping pong tables and the ping pong balls you could buy for, like, 25 cents and they were all colorful and fun and I'd always just go and buy a ball. It's like, oh, I really want this, but I I don't want to play with it because it'll get all dented and be stupid and that was a really stupid move I just did. Okay, why do I suck at this? I feel like I cannot... Okay, I just did not have good judgment when it came to that. That was really terrible. Oh, Shy Guy's doing disco in the background! Oh, that was cute. Okay, depressing? No. Let's go! What's up? Puzzle Pillars! This is a minigame for one or two players! Wow, it tells me a whole bunch. I'm glad that we did this. So again, we have another puzzle. For some reason I feel like puzzles take the longest. I don't know. Doesn't matter if you're good at them, they just take forever. Okay, link four more blocks of the same color horizontally to clear them. Clear emblems to move to the next level, okay. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't even know why I'm reading the rules. I usually don't read the rules on these things. I usually just go into it and I'm like, oh, let me see. Wait, isn't this vertical? This is a horizontal. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see how you are. Oh, my voice just cracked. That was attractive. Just listen to how attractive my voice can be sometimes. Why is this not working for me? Come on. Come on, chimp. No. What? This one. Oh my god. This is not this hard. Why am I having such a hard time with this? I can't find four, you guys! And you guys are yelling at me right now. I can hear you. Going, madam, look at this one. Look up, look down, look somewhere that you're not looking because you're not doing this right at all. And I'm going, I'm sorry. Okay, wait, red, red, red. Oh my gosh, no. Guys, I didn't get a single one. This is not good. Okay, that was like the epitome of sucking. No. We're not going to continue from that level. I couldn't even... Okay, you know what? We're going to play that again. I'm sorry. I refuse to not even get one. How am I supposed to do this, though? Like, none of them matched up. Go! Was I supposed to... Wait, level 14? Oh no, level 1 times 14. I still don't know what that means, though. Um... Okay, that's not what I was supposed to do. I was thinking maybe diagonally. Okay, seriously? What am I supposed to do? Does anyone know what I'm- Oh! I can flip them! Duh! Okay, well thank you, person out there who was yelling at me. No! 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 Okay. Yeah! Oh, baby. Let's... Okay. Level two. Okay, so flipping is the answer. I'm sorry, that took me a ridiculous amount of time to figure out. Oh. No. 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 No! This isn't helping. Okay, there we go. That helped. Okay, that's not gonna help. That's not gonna help either. No. Ah! 
Ah, oh, no. Okay, guys, this is a lot more complicated than it should be. For some reason, my brain is having a hard time with this game. Okay, well, at least we figured it out. I will say that much. And we got a new record, which is sad that that's our only record. We're not going to continue from that level either, but that's nice that they give you that option. Okay, no. All right, two more. What are they? Chomping Frenzy and something else that we'll find out in a second. All right, here we go. Okay, so what is this? Chomping Frenzy. Find, oh my god, feed each chain chomp the kind of food it's craving. Ooh, I like this game. Someone needs to play this game with me. Because I have really bizarre cravings randomly and don't understand them. Wait, orange and bone. What? How? This is a freaking apple! How am I supposed to- wait, can I switch? Oh, well duh! No wonder I was pissing him off. Okay, that silence was because I have no idea what just happened. Always... You know what? Just don't read the rules. Just go into it and be smart. Because we're playing this again, too. I'm sorry. I am not tolerating this crap. Butt face, no. Okay. Why does this... Am I supposed to... Okay, I'll find out in a second. I need to stop saying stupid stuff. Okay, we both want bones. Boom. Boom. Oh no, this is... Oh no, this... Oh... Cherry. Orange. Orange. Banana. Apple. Cherry. Oh, they both went to sleep. Oh shoot, that's not good. Okay. No, 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 Okay, wait, no. Don't get mad at me. I'm not ready yet. Okay. He was really mad. Oh, <clears throat> no, I'm, no. <clears throat> oh, no, I got one of them to go to sleep. Oh, he... Okay. Well, again, at least I figured that out. Kind of sucked, because I didn't even get 30. But that's okay. We're moving on up! Why do I say that so much? I say that all the time, and I don't know if it's just because I watched that moving on up to the east side when I was little. Probably. I have no idea. Alright. Moped Mayhem. Ooh! Course one. Course two and course... Okay. Do I want to be complicated? Of course. Haha. <laughs> Get it? Of course. No. Never use that joke because it's lame. Okay, what... There's... Wait. Now maybe the... Okay, I don't know if this is... Okay, good. So this is just like a teaser for Mario Kart, only not as cool. So we're gonna use it. Ooh, loading. Gotta load all those curves in the road. Okay, this is a little bit too much cur curving. Loading. Oh, wait! How does Thwompity Womp get to Ray? Thwomp and Womp are both racing. That is amazing. That should happen in real life Mario Kart all the time. Oh, this is so cute! Look at all the characters and how cute they are! Even bandits here! I love it. Sorry guys, I have a weakness for cute, epic things. Ew, you're not cute! You're a freaking chimp! Not freaking chimps from Flip the Chimp. Not cute. Why is bandit so huge? That really is what somebody said. Okay. Is there a reason I'm not going any faster than this? Really? No, I'm not gonna be rank freaking 24, 5. 
Okay, well at least Peach is back here. She's not like up in first. She's still in front of me. Uh, come on, Wario! You gotta get up higher than that! Womp and Womp are beating you! They're freaking rocks! They don't know how to drive! Okay. My coordination... Now this is the one where it's really hard to steer, and I don't know why. It just is. That was a little bit better. See, I keep running into the walls! This reminds me of, like, Toontown Racing or something. Racing on that has really weird mechanics, too. And I'm rank 22. That is not good. No. No! You're not passing me! Arr. Okay, why am I running into this wall still? Get off the wall. Gonna leave that 9 to 5 up on the shelf. And just enjoy yourself. You can really hear Michael Jackson's Indiana accent in that song. I love it. I almost said in that wall, but that's the name of the song. Off the wall, no. <laughs> it's not the name of... Oh, we passed Bandit! Wait. Another... Are we supposed to make another lap? T th three laps?! Oh man, but I suck at this! Guys, this is gonna take me till, like, no day's end. Like, I, I can't even... Yeah, anyway. In Off the Wall, you can really hear... <coughs> excuse me, Michael Jackson's accent. From Indiana. Because he says, yourself, and that's totally a Indiana thing. I don't know what that is. It's like instead of saying for and your, we say fur and your, and that's really dumb because it sounds stupid. I always do that. I'm like, look at yourself in the mirror. Like, that, the way I just said that is totally like your without me knowing it, and that's stupid. Oh, why can't I have a cute accent, you know? Although I probably have a pretty big accent to some of you watching, especially if you're from like the UK or... I know I have a lot of people, a lot of followers in like Germany and places, which I find kind of funny. Um, but <laughs> hey, I love you guys, so it's pretty awesome. It's pretty fun to learn all the different locations of you pimps in the audience, because just by default you want to think like everybody is like talking exactly the same as you are when you know that's like not true um and what i mean by that is like yeah even when you know like oh i have an accent to some people it just seems like you know when you read like comments you read them in your dialect so it's pretty intense that's my point with that so yeah different accents amuse me as they do anyone i'm sure but yeah you're in fur don't know where that came from and why it exists, but it does. Oh, Gaga, you've got to be faster than this. You're on a freaking motorcycle in one of your covers. Born this way, hello. Didn't you learn how to ride a bike before you made that? Well, maybe you did, but not in this game. Okay. Mmm. I should make Lady Gaga on my 3DS, like my 3DS um, XL that I just got, and then become friends with some of you pimps, and then you can party with Lady Gaga, who's actually me. So that'd be fun. I plan to do some of that stuff, by the way, um, with my 3DS XL. I want to use it for like, I don't want to say contests, but like little stream events or something, or they couldn't be stream events because you can't stream like 3DS material, or I don't have the, the equipment to do that yet, but like it'd be so fun to just coordinate something where it's like, yeah, let's trade friend codes and, <clears throat> and my voice will crack and we'll play Mario Party for the moment, or um, Mario Kart or Animal Crossing, but I don't have a town established on there yet, so you know, something like that. That'd be awesome. Which I I do... Okay, why are you going fast now? What's up with this? You placed 21 out of 30. That was stupid. Because I sucked. No, we're not going to play this again. 
But anyway, yeah, I was planning on doing like a blog series, or was, I am planning on doing a blog series with Wild World because I think that would be a lot of fun. But that actually is all the content that lies within the extra tent. Wait, no, that's not the name of this. Extra zone, that's it. And we want a whole ten. So have fun with that. Sorry this episode was kind of long. I, I didn't expect it to be this long, but again, I didn't want to divide it up either. So yeah, that is it for everything in the extra zone. So the last thing we need to cover is the fun bazaar, which I will be covering in the next video. And then the project will conclude. So probably going to wrap this project up in like two more episodes and one might be nothing but the credits. So yeah. I am pretty stoked about that, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the extra zone with Gaga and I. Hope you've enjoyed Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Have a pimp rest of the day. I will see you later. Peace out, pimps.